I'm going to convert my electric accelerator to a mechanic. So this is the kit I got. I don't remember how, how long this is and let's see how it plays out. I'm going to start here without the engine in here because it's going to be easier for me to just pass it along and then hold the stuff on the side. Um, I got the accelerator from well it seems to be it says E46 but it doesn't look like that is it was E46 um, I end up putting this here together uh, this did not fit there at first and also this bolt here from the bottom uh, wasn't this tall uh, now I have it where it touches uh, there when I go all the way to the bottom and also the top has all the spring and all that stuff you see the top uh, that black stuff that's moving so there is where I'm gonna put one of those things here and I'm gonna try to go through the far wall where uh, there is an actual place that this is supposed to come out which are already open which is in here and I'm gonna bring that thing in so inside here as you see there's a little hole so we need to take this out of here this goes through that and that little hole it's part of it is made out of uh, there you go some soft material so I can push this all the way down and then from the inside we're going to screw that nut that I took out and it's right there so what I need to do now is I need to take this out of here um, put put all of this inside there you go. and as you see it's a little larger so I'm gonna get my uh, my razor blade I'm gonna just make one cut and see if that goes through there you go I just made one cut I'm gonna make one on the other side too there you go you know make it ugly and always spiky so I need to be sure yeah there you go it worked so there you go that's that um, there's a little cap in here if you're using the same kit I'm gonna put it in the description but this little cap goes in there and that helps so for example there is this thing here that's what I'm putting right now but definitely it's not gonna be that fitting um, and this little metal round thingy here helps this stay in place so it's pretty cool I'm gonna go there and then we're gonna go inside the car to finish that and this here is gonna close this side so it's pretty clean I don't know maybe it's like this yeah all right so yeah and here if you look at this side I'll have the engine will have control of the the paddle so when the paddle moves this is gonna move super cool I thought it was not going to be long enough so one thing I forgot to say uh, we need to have a washer um, before and after and the other thing is the nut where are we here if I get a socket with an extension it's gonna help me reach there but if I put the socket in there the nut in there it's gonna be too deep so I might not grab uh, thread so I got another nut and I'm gonna put the other nut in there and then I'm gonna put this nut in here which leaves me a lot of room so what I'm gonna do is from behind let me try to put the light in there okay got the washer ah oh, let me see if I can push a little bit with this yep 
Okay. All right, so I managed to put it in there. Um, it's not tight at all. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and put a 14 millimeter just sitting in here. And as I tight, that 14 millimeter should hold in here and stay sturdy. I'm not going to get any range yet. I'm just going to do by hand. Um, I'm interesting to see. I'm interested to see how it's going to work. So uh, you see up there. If I keep turning, my wrench should be holding that. Oh yeah, yeah. And the washers, the washers could be a little bigger. I think they're going through. Yeah, yeah. They're definitely going through. Uh, or maybe not. Okay, so let's keep going. All right. I'll get a little tighter. Okay, I don't think this goes anywhere. And here, we gotta grab this and put the cable, put this on the side. So I'm gonna pull further here can you see my hands go in there and it should go right in here and this goes through yep okay so yeah this goes right like this and oh. There you go. Woo! There you go. So now here we have this here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this hanging right here so you can see the end and I'm gonna accelerate and this should move. Okay, so for now we have the the brake booster. We have this here sorted out. We have the uh, fuel pressure. It's also sorted out. We have the um, oil cooler, which is there with the turbo thingy sorted out. Um, everything waiting for the engine to drop, and then we can finish there. Um, yeah, some stuff here. This I don't need. I'm gonna take out of here. Um, you know, I guess uh, this is gonna get cleaner. I just need to figure it out. This here, the heater um, that goes somewhere in there, and I might need to clamp some stuff. So there are some loose ends I'm uh, I'm missing here. But if you're on this video only for this, um, that's it. Um, but you know, if you are doing a conversion. BMW conversion to anything uh, This is gonna be very valuable. I mean you can see how this kit looks like how long this is I mean this is gonna be exactly the size we need So I'm very impressed. I thought I thought you wouldn't be able to do it with this size But it is perfect. I'm gonna put the link in the description of whatever I got so you can have a reference and then you find yours um, Even though we're gonna not use this. We're not gonna use this right now Let me show you there's this end here which goes and clicks on the support on the intake manifold. Uh, there's this one here that goes and clicks on the throttle body. Um, you can see there is a place here you can put the um, the wire, I don't know how to call that, cable right inside here and then you just tie this allen bolt here and it's gonna get tight. Uh, there's this one here, which I think you put in your throttle body so you can use this guy here so they work together. And then there's a cutter pin that secure this guy in there. Um, and there's this end here, which I cannot tell um, how to use. But we're gonna figure 
figure it out. I just want to show you this because if you're about to buy this kit, um, you might see what parts are in there and how they look and sizes and stuff. Um, let's go back here to the car. Um, yeah, so this is how it looks in here. It's pretty clean on the BMW. This is how much it's left. So I'm almost touching uh, the end of here. So it's great. And I'm just going to leave here on the side for now. So that is on the side. Um, yep, fuel pressure was going to be the same thing. Yeah, dude. Like I said, this wasn't the cheapest one. But, you know, it was the one that had more options. So you never know. Uh, I don't know yet what I'm going to use from this, but when I find a throttle body and I buy it, um, yeah, I'll figure that out. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my website, www.carmodsgarage.com, and I'll see you around.